and obviously that, my, that comment was, was meant that way. But more important, I think Mike Huckabee made the choice not to go negative. Mike Huckabee made the choice to continue on a positive vein, and I think that he overcame the negativism, and he got his message through by tremendous efforts, uh, and I think he's to be commended for that. Uh, Ed, I'm not sure if you're aware of this, but you're the subject of a blog on townhall.com tonight. Someone says they overheard you eating at a restaurant called Winston's. Let me ask you, first of all, did you eat at a restaurant called Winston's? I, I, I did, and in the, in the tall, beautiful blonde that they're referring to is my wife. Uh, we snuck off to have a little lunch today, and, and obviously when you have thousands and thousands of reporters covering it, uh, uh, there's no one else in the restaurant but one woman at another table, and obviously she was the blogger. And she certainly uh, uh, sat down and took, took whatever, whatever we were, were saying. It was a private conversation well, let between me, my wife and I. Uh, well, let me ask you, since, they, since she was right so far, let me ask you about a couple of things that you allegedly said. She was, she was that right. You talked she was about, right. I, I had, I had carrot cake and I ate you. a rice sandwich. And it says that uh, you, you talked about going negative in South Carolina and said, put some good in there if you have to with the bad. Do what you got to do. Did you say that? What I, listen, the it was a private conversation between my wife and I. I talked in terms that South Carolina is a different place. Uh, well, once again, it was, it, was, it, was, it was not for public consumption, and, and the reality is Mike Huckabee makes the decisions on this campaign. I don't. It is a more negative state. They're more used to those kinds of things. I was talking to her about where this thing goes. She's a, she's a political novice, well, and this is a whole new game to her, and I don't think that she expected to have our lunch, private lunch, with no one else in a private restaurant uh, sitting there and taking notes at a, well, a Joyce and Dave. Unfortunately, it isn't, it isn't private anymore. It is all over the web, so I'm going to ask you one more question about it. It quotes you sure. as saying that Rudy Giuliani is done, quote, has no money, and was hurt terribly by those police cruises with his girlfriends. I'm, I'm, happy to, I'm happy to confirm that. Uh, obviously, he has no money, and if you uh, good reporters want to go, go uh, uh, talk to the Giuliani campaign, they'll tell you that they've been hurt and they're not raising money. And what about his girlfriend? You can't... You, well, he had a girlfriend. It's now his wife. Uh, you know, the issue was that he basically sent police cars out to take his uh, girlfriend shopping and, uh, across the state, and I think a lot of people didn't like that. And I think a lot of people thought it was uh, a misuse of, 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 of public property and a misuse of office. You know, there obviously were some bumps in the road uh, over the last week or so, and, and, and understandably, because Huckabee has gone from the longest of long shots uh, to now, one could say, perhaps the front runner in this race, the foreign policy well, mistakes. Well, Chris, there are also, there uh, also, there there also some, some very good let things. Me just ask, let me just ask the question, and then you can answer it, sir. Uh, and also well, the fact you, that go ahead he, and ask uh, the question. I'll be uh, happy one, to answer it. Okay. Uh, you know, all of you, foreign Chris, policy, all of you guys sat also there and said he did. Well, and also the, the negative line, Chris, ads that you, you that he made and then pulled. No, no, the question I'm just asking is, have, have he, has he and have you learned anything from those, and will he be a more effective campaigner we, down the we, road? We, we, learn, we, learn, we learn that the wise men who sit like you do and others and basically say a guy like Mike Huckabee doesn't have a snowball's chance in heck can still go out to the public and, and, and make their case. Uh, so all the wisdom doesn't live in Washington, uh, and all the wisdom doesn't live in the press corps. We're very grateful for you giving us the opportunity to go talk to the public, but the public is ultimately who gets to make the decisions.